What is the role of chemotherapy plus pembrolizumab in the frontline treatment of non-small cell lung cancer? As you're aware of, uh, the Keynote 21G trial, which was a randomized phase two study, had showed that adding pembrolizumab to chemotherapy in non-squamous patients was associated with an improved progression-free survival, higher response rate, and a trend towards improved survival. Uh, and that was, uh, that appears to be confirmed by the Keynote 189 study, which hasn't been formally reported, but we learned from a press release that a large phase three trial that asked the same question in the same group of patients showed a uh, significant improvement in efficacy with the addition of Pembro to chemotherapy in the frontline setting. So this really brings to the forefront the combination approach of chemo plus immunotherapy. Uh, my view is we no longer look at all patients with lung cancer or even non-squamous as one group in the context of immunotherapy. We have to think about patients who have a high PDL one ex expression such as greater than 50%. And then you have the group of patients who have either no PDL1 expression or in the 1 to 50% group. So my feeling is that our treatments are going to be refined for each of these groups differently. For instance, we have very good data that for patients with PDL1 expression greater than 50%, pembromonotherapy is superior to chemotherapy alone and has a median overall survival of approximately 30 months in that patient population. So is chemo plus Pembro going to be better than Pembro alone is a question for which we still don't know the answer. But the Keynote 189 study will at least give us some hints in that direction. Now in the 1 to 50% population, the chemo plus Pembro may be particularly more attractive because Pembro alone is not used commonly for those patients. So I think when we see the 189 results, when we break them down by PDL1 expression status, we'll have a better sense for which patient should get chemo combination with immune checkpoint inhibition, which group may just be uh, best treated with immunotherapy alone.